Welcome to Parts of Similar Triangles. Our objectives are to recognize and use proportional parts, like angle bisectors, medians, and altitudes of similar triangles. Down here is an example showing two similar triangles with altitudes, medians, and angle bisectors drawn in, and then some proportional relationships. We are going to be exploring each of these as well as doing some sample problems. Let's first explore altitudes. What is an altitude? An altitude is a segment that comes from the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side, and it must be perpendicular to that segment, and that segment is called the base. You can see six different examples here of altitudes, and notice that in each case it forms 90 degree angle with its base. There are three different altitudes that you could potentially draw in a triangle. You could also draw an altitude outside of the triangle, especially if you had something like this, an obtuse triangle, and you wanted to draw an altitude from this vertex here to the base, the altitude would actually be drawn outside of the triangle. Let's refresh on medians. The median of a triangle is a segment that connects a vertex to a midpoint on one of the triangle sides. So as you can see in the second example, it's not necessarily perpendicular to the base. All it has to do is be a midpoint of the side. And therefore, every triangle you can see has three different medians. And again, the median may or may not be perpendicular to its base, but it must be the midpoint of that base. Last, let's look at a triangle angle bisector. Really, an angle bisector is just a line that splits an angle into two equal or congruent parts. Bisect means to divide into two equal parts. So you can see in this case this angle bisector bisects this angle into two congruent parts. It doesn't say anything though about where it hits the opposite side. It may or may not be perpendicular and it may or may not separate it into two congruent parts down here. So let's look at the parts of similar triangles, specifically our median, angle bisector, and our altitude. Here's a drawing of each. Our proportional parts theorem states, if two triangles are similar, then the corresponding medians, altitudes, and angle bisectors are proportional to the corresponding sides. Okay, let's look at what that means. Let's look at a couple of examples. So let's first look at the angle bisector. Well, it separates the opposite side into segments that have the same ratio as the other two sides, we said. So, here is a ratio. If we take AD over DB, so those two parts, they should be in the same ratio as the opposite sides. So, that is equal to AC in this triangle compared to CB in this triangle. So you can see that what we have are really two triangles that are similar. So we're able to make this statement because we have proportional parts. Let's look at an example. So let's say we want to solve for x. Pause the video and see if you can set up a proportionality statement and solve. Well, assuming that we have two similar triangles, which we do, we can set up the same proportion. So we can say that this piece, x over this piece, DC2, will be in the same proportion as 9 is to 6. So again, be careful that if you're using x first in this fraction, that you use 9 first in that fraction. Now all we have to do in order to solve is to cross multiply. So first, 6 times x is 6x, and 2 times 9 is 18. We divide by 6, we get 3. So BD right here is equal to 3 units. Let's look at altitudes. So if two triangles are similar, the lengths of the corresponding altitudes are proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides. So it's really basically the same theorem that we just looked at, only this time we have an altitude instead of an angle bisector. Here is our ratio, AD over FJ. So if we find AD, now we're talking about this. So we're looking at the altitude. So AD in that triangle 
over FJ in this triangle is going to be in the exact same ratio as the sides. So I'm going to take this side, AB over FJ. But I could have taken AC over FH as well. So let's go ahead and use this and solve for the altitude here. Well, we can take 16 from the big triangle over X from the small triangle, and we have these two sides. So we would take 20 from the big triangle over 15 from the small triangle, and once again, we would cross multiply in order to solve. So we would get 20X is equal to 15 times 16, which would give us 240. And then we divide by 20 to find that X is equal to 12. So the median in this small triangle, YQ, we know is going to be equal to 12 since our triangles are similar. Now let's go ahead and look at our medians. The rule for medians will be the exact same as they were for the altitudes. We treat the median the same. So, if two triangles are similar, the lengths of the corresponding medians are proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides, just like before. If we take CD, which is the median in this triangle, and compare it to YZ, the median in this triangle, they should be in the same proportion as the corresponding sides, which would be AB in this triangle compared to WX in this triangle. Notice that I'm using the base to be a corresponding this side instead of the other two legs. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as they are in the corresponding positions. So let's go ahead and see if we can solve this one. The answer is going to be 4.5. Try to pause the video and come up with that answer on your own. Well, hopefully you set up your proportionality statement comparing the two medians, 13.5 over 9, and that should be in the same proportion as some corresponding sides. Well, in this case, we have x here and we have 3 here. Because both these are the same, we can take x and compare it directly to 3. When we cross multiply 13.5 times 3, we get 40.5 x times 9 is 9x, and then if we divide both sides by 9, we can see then that x does in fact equal 4.5. So this segment here, sp, is equal to 4.5. We have similar triangles, and these are our medians. Let's try a few more examples before we exit. In this first case, we have two similar triangles. We know that because we have angle here up at C, angle D, D down here that are congruent, as well as vertical angles that are congruent in here. So we have similar triangles. We want to solve for X. Well, what do we have here? It looks like we have an angle bisector because we can see the congruency marks. So let's go ahead and set up a proportion. Well, remember, proportional parts of proportional triangles are always going to be proportional. So if I compare my angle bisectors, and I compare those to my sides, making sure to keep them in corresponding order, I could set up a ratio like this, and then simply cross multiply. x times 35 is 35x. 25 times 21 gives me 525. And then if I divide by 35, I get 15. So now I have solved for x. Let's look at this example. In this example, again, we have some addition in here, but we would still set it up the same way. So again, it looks like we have an angle bisector and we have one triangle. But remember the theorem for angle bisectors. Here's our theorem. It says that an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side into segments that have the same ratio as the other two sides. So, this angle bisector is separating this side into segments that have the same ratio as the opposite sides. 
So let's go ahead and set up our proportion. If you'd like to pause the video and try it first, now would be a good time to do that. Okay, so we're going to compare x to 8, those pieces, and we're going to compare that to x plus 6 over 20. And now we can cross multiply. Remember that when we multiply a number by an expression, we need to keep it in parentheses. So 8 times x plus 6 is equal to 20x. Now we can distribute the 8 into the parentheses and get 8x plus 48 equals 20x. Let's go ahead and combine our like terms by moving our x's to the same side. And we end up with negative 12x plus 48 equals 0. And then we'll move the 48 over to the other side so that we can then solve for x. Doing that, we end up with negative 12x equals negative 48. When we divide by negative 12, we end up with x on this side equal to positive 3, oops, positive 4, sorry, on this side. A negative divided by negative is a positive. So in this case, x up here is positive 4 units. Let's try two more problems just to give you enough resources to help you with your practice. So in our first situation here, it says the special segment in the similar triangles is an altitude. This is an altitude, which means that this must form a 90 degree angle. But all we really need to know is the properties of an altitude. And here's this property. It says the lengths of the corresponding altitudes are proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides. So, we know that x, which is the altitude in our small triangle, over 21, is going to be in the same proportion as 11 in our small triangle to 33. Those are corresponding parts. Again, if we just cross multiply, 33x is equal to 11 times 21, which is 231. And then we divide by 33 we find that x is equal to 7 in our small triangle. Go ahead and read this one, pause the video, and see if you can do this on your own. Hopefully, the first thing you did was to label your diagrams, just to make it more visible. It says in here that nq and vx are medians. And remember that medians really have the same property as an altitude. These medians are in the same proportion as the corresponding sides. So again, we can take our medians, 8 over 4x plus 2, and say that that's in the same proportion to our bases, which is 12 over 7x minus 1. Now we're ready to cross multiply. And again, we have expressions. Put those in parentheses. When we cross multiply, we get 50. Well, here, let's do it piece by piece. We get 8 multiplied by 7x minus 1 equals 12 multiplied by 4x plus 2. When we distribute the 8 into the parentheses, we get 56x minus 8. And when we distribute the 12 into the parentheses, we get 48x plus 24. Now we just need to combine our like terms. So we'll subtract 48x on this side to combine it with the 56x on this side. We'll also add 8 on this side so that we can move it over here and combine it with the 24 on that side. What we are left with then is 56 minus 48 which is 8x. This cancels. This cancels. And we're left with 32 over here. Dividing both sides by 8 we end up with x equals 4. So now we have solved for x. x, we know, is 4. Now you have seen a number of examples to help you solving parts of similar triangles. And that concludes our lesson. You should be able to recognize and use proportional parts of similar triangles.